You've seen how our smart tabs perform on a boat. Now, let's take a look at why they work better than any other trim tab or foil on the market, even higher priced electronically controlled tabs. The most common complaints we hear from small and medium sized boat owners are excessive bow rise on takeoff, getting on plane quickly, and porpoising. The key is in balancing your boat without compromising performance. Smart tabs create extra stern lift intuitively. They increase the running surface and adjust the hull design to compensate for changes in sea conditions, weight, and speed on a continuous basis. At slower speeds, smart tabs are fully deployed, offering the greatest amount of lift. As your boat accelerates, the tabs automatically adjust angle and retract in direct relationship to the forces on them created by the water pressure and sea conditions. With smart tabs installed to create balance, bow rise is minimized, which allows the boat to accelerate with less resistance. The result? Time to plane is significantly reduced, visibility over the bow is increased, and your fuel economy is improved because your motor is pushing the boat forward, not struggling to climb uphill. Porpoising is the bouncing reaction of the boat's bow rising and falling as you're cruising. To eliminate this annoying and uncomfortable bouncing, there needs to be enough stern lift to hold the bow down. The key is in stern lift and balance. Let smart tabs lift the stern and control the ride. As you can see from this animation, the tabs retract intuitively in response to changing conditions. Both the port and starboard tabs react independently from one another to keep the boat level at all cruising speeds, eliminating porpoising. Prop slip is reduced, prop efficiency is increased, and your fuel economy is improved automatically. The intuitive nature of smart tabs operates similarly when tracking through wakes, waves, or chop. Let's say you enter a wave at a 45 degree angle to starboard. The port smart tab will deploy, and the starboard tab will remain horizontal. As you exit the wave, the starboard tab will deploy, and the port retracts to keep you level. With smart tabs, you can travel through waves and wakes without having to steer the boat in order to stay on course. You can see in varying conditions that smart tabs adjust and adapt to whatever you can throw at them. The self-regulating and adjustment variations make smart tabs the perfect solution for all small and medium-sized boats. They react automatically and immediately to boat speeds and sea conditions, weight or load balances, and all directional changes. In addition to increased fuel efficiency, you'll find your boat to be far more enjoyable with smart tabs because they create far less intervention and work on your part. If you own a small or medium sized boat and you'd like to get more enjoyment out of it with better performance, handling and economy, then you owe it to yourself to buy and install a set of smart tabs today. Hi, I'm Dana, and I've got to tell you, there is nothing like the thrill of running on the open water full throttle with the wind in my face. There isn't much that can compare with owning and enjoying your own boat. Like most boat owners, though, there are some characteristics of your boating experience that can be less than enjoyable. For example, the constant bouncing or porpoising. The time it takes for the boat to get on plane. Even the limited visibility created by bow rise during acceleration. For this demonstration, we're using a typical 20-foot day cruiser. Smart Tabs SX are designed to be installed on boats from 14 to 20 feet with 40 to 225 horsepower engines. As you'll see in this video, Smart Tabs SX assemble and install on your boat in just minutes and require only a drill and a few common tools. Start at the inside edge of the chine, about three to five inches from the outside of the transom. And now mark all six holes with your pencil and drill them, apply the hinge, aligning the holes, and install the number 14 machine screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Now you're ready to attach the trim plate. You'll notice that once the trim plate is installed, it will naturally fall to a resting point at approximately 25 degrees downward. Once you test run the boat in the water, you can adjust the tabs to increase or decrease the pressure as desired to maximize your boat's performance and ride. With the actuator attached to the plate, you can now attach the transom bracket to the top of the actuator using the snap and lock pin. 
allow the trim plate to rest on its own in its deployed position. It will naturally rest about 25 degrees down from horizontal. Without moving or lifting the trim plate, rotate the actuator to the transom until the transom bracket is seated flush. Using the transom mounting bracket as a template, drill the holes. Attach the mounting bracket to the transom using the number 14 machine screws. With the port side now completely installed, follow the same installation procedure to install the starboard side trim tab. Now that Greg has finished installing the starboard side, let's see how the boat performs. As you can see, there's a considerable improvement in the boat's overall performance. Greg can easily see over the bow during the initial acceleration, and the boat gets on plane in only a few seconds. Notice how smooth the boat runs through waves and wakes. There's no bouncing or porpoising. Hi, I'm Dana with Nauticus. What if you had more time to catch more fish? What if you never needed to waste time getting ready to troll slow enough to catch those large walleye, dragging sea anchors, five gallon buckets, or blocking the propeller with a trolling plate? What if you could troll at the most productive speed easily and change speed in an instant to quickly hop over to another spot without pulling up the trolling bags or trolling plates? What if you could get to the right fishing spot quicker because your boat accelerated faster and ran smoother in a chop? And what if you could reduce fuel consumption and spend less time at the pump? The answer to all of these what ifs is the Pro Troller Series Smart Tab. Pro Troller functions as two separate products in one. The specially engineered lever allows you to switch Pro Trollers between trim tab and the trolling brake position in seconds. If you're going a short distance, just cruise over to the next spot. No bags to pull up and no trolling plates to retract. How effective are they? Without Pro Trollers, the minimum trolling speed for this bass boat is 2.3 miles per hour, which is a bit fast for the pros. You can see with the Pro Trollers in the brake position, we're able to get down to 1.3 miles per hour with a 40 horsepower Mercury outboard. You'll be able to accelerate to plane faster. Let's look at that again in slow motion. You'll notice when both boats shoot out of the hole, the upper boat, which has no pro trollers, has a high bow rise. The lower boat, which does have pro trollers, gets onto plane much faster. Pro trollers also eliminate bow rise when you shoot out of a hole. Unlike any other trolling device on the market today, you get all the benefits of Nauticus's ruggedly designed smart tabs, plus being able to deploy the tabs in seconds to a braking position for trolling. So you truly will have more time to catch more fish.